Chapter 12. Before she left for her hospital ship, Crystal Sweet thanked Uncle Potluck for watching Quincy. But he is not watching Quincy. He and Mama and Uncle Tommy are playing cards in the kitchen and Quincy is in the living room watching Maddie. Staring at Maddie, she feels. She has her own pajamas on now, Quincy does, and they are not like regular pajamas. Not baby pajamas with matching tops and bottoms and mouse-shaped buttons. Quincy is wearing a t-shirt big with sweet trucking printed on it and a pair of bike shorts. She has long teenager looking legs, which even though she has her own sleeping bag that she could be sitting on, she is stretched out on Maddie's sleeping bag. Maddie is folded up on the pillow end, her legs hugged up to her chest. She can feel her pajama buttons pressing against her thigh. Eeny, meeny, miny, poor Mo. Who is Mo? asked Quincy. Maddie blinks. What? You said poor Mo. Who is Mo? She said poor Mo out loud. Matter of fact, Maddie reminds herself, unemotional. Mo is nobody. She plunks or tries to. She does not sound, I don't care, like Quincy Sweet. She sounds like a little kid playing robot. Maddie tries again. Nothing, I mean, a button. The missing button for my pajamas. Maddie pokes her pinky through Mo's empty hole. I saw that, says Quincy. Maddie waits for Quincy to say something else, but Quincy doesn't. Just waits and waits. Maddie is supposed to say something. I named each one of these buttons, she says. Stupid baby. When I was little, that is, a long time ago. Quincy is still waiting. Eeny, meeny, miny, and mo, Maddie says, except mo fell off. This does not sound unemotional. I don't care, though, she says. If you don't care, how come you said poor mo, said Quincy. How come? Habit. So you say it all the time? Maddie looks to the kitchen, sending silent messages to Uncle Potluck. Ask us if we want popcorn, she thinks. Tell us to come play cards. So the house is on fire, so we need to evacuate. Uncle Tommy slams his cards to the table. You're in deep now, he tells Uncle Potluck. I don't say it all the time, Maddie says. Habits are things you do all the time. Like my dad smokes all the time, even in the bathroom. And my mom makes the sign of the cross every time an ambulance goes by. She doesn't believe in God anymore, but she crosses anyway. A habit from when she went to Catholic school. Maddie nods. She has done it again, that Quincy sweet. Secrets about bathroom and God, all plunked out, matter of fact. Maddie tries again to match her voice to Quincy's. I used to say it all the time, I mean. Why? Because Maddie thinks about Mo. Where is he and why he's there? But Quincy is staring. It's dumb. It's just a thing I say. Like people say dang or that stinks. I say poor Mo, you know, um, poor Mo, I stubbed my toe. Or poor Mo, I wish I didn't have school today. Like that. Yeah? Quincy squinks at Maddie, tilts her head. Maddie swallows. Yeah. There's a clock in the living room. It's behind Maddie and she can't see it, but she can hear it now, loud as gunshots. Talk, talk, talk. Finally, Quincy speaks. How old are you? 